the routines and as we go through the motions of our everyday lives, we sometimes tend to forget about the people and the world around us. We may forget about the different cultures and experiences that the individuals around us navigate. Through going to an international school, I feel that we have a duty to give our differences a voice in order to understand just how similar we all are. Aisha, can you come to the learning commons and bring some of our friends, please? Yeah, sure, but make it quick. I have to study for physics. Yay! Okay, see you there. What's your name? My name is Aisha Nakhmi. Isabel. Uh, my name is Hesse, and uh, my English name is Kate. My name is Sarah, Sarah Huck. Where are you from? Spain. I'm from the UAE. I'm from South Korea. I'm from Egypt. I am from many places but primarily ethnically Pakistan. What does global citizenship mean to you? Especially for me, since I grew up all around the world, being a global citizenship has definitely impacted my identity and who I am as a person. So for me, global citizenship is being able to fully express yourself no matter where you are and where you come from and you being confident in the environment that you set yourself in and staying true to who you are. Especially since I come from the Middle East and being in Western European countries, I do have to stick to my roots and show everyone, you know, this is my identity, this is who I am and I'm proud of it. Global citizenship has meant a lot of things over the years, being at Azar. Um, but most of all, I think it's more to be accepting of other citizens and being one that is inclusive of all different citizens. I think it means being aware and understand everything around you in, and in the world. Yeah. Um, I think global citizenship means that like this is one one way how you have to understand other people even though if they're from different cultures or even if they're in different religions. Um, one thing I love about my country besides its amazing food is um, the open mindedness that it has and it being able to adapt to the changes that are happening right now. I honestly love the food and the people and it just like has this mood, I don't know, it's just cozy. I miss a lot of the people because they're really kind, I don't know, I'm Spanish. So. And also uh, the traditions, I'm, I really miss them. Um, first thing is I really miss the food and then I also miss the people there because like that's the one way where we connect our traditions and then also one way where we can inter interact the culture of our own. What I love is the sense of family that we have between each and every person. No matter what family background, no matter what last name, you all have the sense of um, familiar relationships. Um. I just miss my family, most of all. They've always been very supportive of what I do and who I am. And not having that constant support every day, not being able to, you know, to drive to my grandmother's house and sort of just stay with her, that, that's something I miss the most. What do you like about going to an international school and what has it taught you about other cultures? I get to know a lot of people from different countries and each, in each country they have a different culture from Spain, so that has taught me a lot. Going to international schools have really opened my mind to the different cultures and the different perspectives that people have, especially when it's people my age and not having you know older perspectives, older international perspectives. Uh, not only did I find myself relating to most of what people said since I am, I, since I am able to pick up different perspectives and opinions, but it's also taught me just to accept everyone. And even though opinions may contradict what I think and what I believe, it's still important to listen to what other people have to say. Oh, uh, when I go to an international school, I can interact with other people from like other cultures, and then that way I learn what their culture is, which is uh, which I find out is actually very different from my personal own culture. Uh, what I love about going to an international school is how tight knit the community is, and how we all know each other, we all know our different backgrounds, and how I'm just able to gain an insight of so many parts of the world just by talking to a group of people. Through talking to my peers and getting to know more about their cultures and certain aspects of their background that they miss, my world expanded a little, allowing unfamiliar and foreign concepts to inhabit it. While this is a small step, through the baby steps we can hopefully create a more culturally aware community, one that is inclusive of all different kinds of experiences and backgrounds.